Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Krista and I'm currently homeschooling our five kiddos. My oldest is 13 and my youngest is two, almost three. He'll be three next month. So um, I just wanted to um, share with you guys what our homeschool routine um, will kind of look like. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been around for a while, I think you've seen a couple of our day in the life videos. Um, and I don't think any two of our days ever really look alike or ever really kind of go alike. So I just wanted to give you a little rundown on how we do things. Because I know I, I love um, watching YouTube videos of homeschool routines or morning routines or just how people do things and I think that um, to make kind of a long story short that I love the idea of routines but life happens definitely when you're a big family uh, when there's a lot a lot of people no two days are ever gonna look alike and if if you're a stickler to sticking to a schedule and having everything so planned out um, and, and you're looking to homeschool you may be you may become disappointed so um, I just want to share with you that um, why we don't have a homeschool schedule I'm just looking at my notes if you guys see me looking down a lot um, quick background on how we started homeschooling okay I had two children at the time they were in um, kindergarten my oldest daughter and my oldest son was in first grade um, I had recently just stopped working I felt that God had called me to be home and we decided to have another baby at that time and I really felt like God was just pulling us in this direction um, and I wasn't really liking um, how things were going with my kids in school and uh, the needs that one of my children were struggling with just weren't being met in school and attitudes were just changing in my children and so we pulled them out and decided to start homeschooling. Well, when we started, I tried so hard to make it look like school. I also listened to a lot of my family who was very against homeschooling. What are you doing? Like, um, you know, kind of just making comments. And, and I took all those comments into account and I took what they did in school and, and I tried to make everything look like school and, and kind of be appeasing to the people that you know we're we're looking at us and judging us and stuff so um and it just made me feel like a failure all the time because homeschool does not look like public school i mean as, as much as you try to make it look that way it's not meant to be and that's that's one of the whole points of homeschooling is it's not gonna look like sitting at your desk for seven hours a day being taught out of these big thick textbooks and it's it's just not gonna look that way so then I started watching YouTube videos to see how other moms um, homeschooled their children and what their routines were and what their schedules look like and their styles and um, I tried for a while to match their routines and match their schedules and how you know okay here's time blocks and at 815 we're gonna do math for 30 minutes and at 845 we're gonna do reading for, you know and I tried to block schedule and I tried to fit that by this time we have um, you know another baby and then we had another baby and just trying to schedule that that failure <laughs> failure is you know it's just the word it made me feel like a failure because we couldn't stick to schedules there was just there was no way that that we were gonna stick to doing things at a certain time when you have a screaming toddler that j just got hurt or a baby who's teething or um, somebody got sick and then that means it's going through the entire house and that you know if I had everything written out for the year or if I had everything written out for the month or even the week and our planners like what we were gonna do and we get behind because people start getting sick or mom gets sick God forbid you know and is is down for a week or so at a time then you know again you, it makes you feel like a failure so um, or it made me now disclaimer there may be moms that you know some of you can schedule this out and some of you work better that way your family runs smoother that way you've always been a very neat organized scheduled person and that's 
just how your family functions, that is great, like more power to you. Um, but I think everybody has their own family rhythm, as, as family rhythm more than a family schedule or family routine. Um, I think that um, we function better as a family when we stick to a rhythm and not a routine. So um, it took probably six years before I realized that my family needs to do things our way. And um, mom functions better if I've stayed up late or if I've been up late in, or been up in the middle of the night with a child or a nursing baby or a teething baby or if I didn't get the right amount of sleep and I want to sleep in until 8.30, 9 o'clock and function better and be a better person for my family and a better mom and a better teacher, then that's what works for us. Um, it's okay if I don't get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and exercise and read my Bible and drink my coffee and have quiet time, alone time with God and to myself and get my house prepared and breakfast prepared before my children get out of bed. It's okay. Some mornings I can do that. Sometimes in, in seasons of life that works for me and I can do that and sometimes it doesn't. And it's not worth um, me forcing myself to stick to a schedule. Um, and being a grumpy mom all day long. It's just, it's not worth it to me. I want to bring joy and I want to bring peace to our home and, and the attitude that I set and the tone that I set for my home is going to be the attitude and tone that my children and my husband and, and my family um, carry with them also. So, if I can be a nicer person by sleeping in a little later and that's just my natural body um, rhythm is to go to bed a little later and get up a little later. That's okay. The kids, my husband's an early bird and I'm a night owl. So the kids have kind of adapted to mom's night owl schedule and they stay up a little later, which kind of bugs my husband a little bit. Um, but I am working on getting the kids in bed a little earlier. So, um, we can all go to bed a little earlier and it's just a slow process and it's summer. So I'm not, it's nothing I'm like really forcing but it is something I'm working on, getting the little boys to sleep in their bed, going to bed a little earlier just so that mom and dad can have a quiet moment to sit down and watch a show or relax before we have to get in bed. So, all of that to say. Um, it's okay if um, my homeschool routine doesn't look like your homeschool routine or the moms you're watching on YouTube <clears throat> or the vlogs you're reading. Excuse me, Anna. Still getting over the last bit of this cold. So if the if the the blogs you're reading of the other homeschool moms, how they're doing it and how their schedules are working for their family, and if yours doesn't look like that, it is okay because I think I always um, get a little nervous when it comes to our homeschool evaluation time every year, and all the kids get evaluated, and I think, oh no, like I have to get all this stuff together, and what did we do this year, and what did we learn, and and when we really sit down and we talk about it with the, the teacher who evaluates them, I think, okay, she says they're doing great and they're learning and they're progressing. And I think, okay, well, you know, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing it okay. And, or if a subject comes up and my kids know some facts about some animals or, or um, the way that things work in the world or just um, debating something with somebody that just when they when they come up with the facts that they know and the things that they've been learning and it, it melts my you know mommy homeschool heart um, thinking okay yeah they are learning they are they're grasping this they're you know we're doing it we're doing the right thing and it's working so and if you would leave in the comments down below um, some tips and tricks you have of, of what works for you or, or um, different ways that you guys do things i'd love to have a discussion in the comments with you and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and we will see you soon